AMD has leaked specs on three new desktop processors to be released as early as mid-June, which are refreshes for three Ryzen 3000 series CPUs featuring higher clock speeds for the 3900X that becomes the 3900 XT, the 3800X becomes the 3800 XT and so on for the 3600X at the same price as existing processors so the X variants will drop in price. These chips are a bit of a surprise because everyone's been eagerly awaiting the 4th gen Zen 3 desktop processors to start appearing from August or September which hopefully will include the 4950X. So why release Zen 2 XT refresh? Well it appears to be to put the gaming CPU nail in Intel's 10th gen Comet Lake coffin. Intel's 10900K and the 10700K processors that the XT will seek to displace from the gaming number one spots. In which respect the XTs achieve their objectives with clock speed increases of about 4% plus translating into single core Cinebent score increases that nudge AMD CPUs ahead of Intel's with the 3900 XT beating the 10900K by about 0.6%. The 3800 XT, the 10700K by 1.1% 1 .1 and the 3600 XT beating Intel's 10600K by a whopping 4%. However, it could also be that the X3 refresh is because Zen 3 processor that we have all been waiting for are going to be delayed either due to problems with the series so the refresh is a sort of plan B. Or that AMD has decided to effectively skip Zen 3 and go straight to Zen 4 5 nanometer processors, hence the delay until well into 2021. There's a lot of growing speculation on the net that this could be the reason for why the refresh is going to happen. So as to give AMD another whole year or so to bring out what previously would have been Zen 4 processors. Anyway, we'll know by September if this is so. Let's see if we get that 4000 series we are currently waiting for. If so, then it looks like I won't be getting my Dream 24 core 4950X as I am unable to find any serious information that such a processor actually exists. Anyway, we will see what happens whether AMD will release the 400 x this year, which I still expect to be a 16 core processor, and then maybe early 2021 we get to see the 4950X, which if it fails to live up to my expectations by turning out to be just another 16 core chip, then I'm going to have to contemplate going for a Threadripper the 3960X or maybe wait it out for the 4960X. Yes, I've fallen into the same trap as most of playing the should I upgrade now or wait game. But it might just be worth waiting this time. Whether we get a 7 nanometer 4900X and 4950X this year or 5 nanometer next year should become clear during September. So only just over three months to wait. Personally, I think AMD has invested too much in the 7 nanometer 4000 series, so they should still announce the 4900X in September with the 5 nanometer 5000 series CPUs to be announced as planned during 2021. The bottom line is that AMD is killing Intel. So Intel really needs to get their act together and deploy some of that $20 billion of cash they got parked in their bank account towards taking back the lead from AMD before it's too late because at this rate there's not going to be any reason to buy an Intel processor for the consumer market, gaming, business or even the server market as Intel's market dominance is fast evaporating in AMD's favour. 
Remember folks, barely four week, four years ago, AMD was nowhere a penny stock that produced mediocre CPUs whilst today it has a clear and expanding lead over Intel. And do remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel for the next update in this AMD vs Intel CPU war saga.